virtually everything that I know about the tarot, I know from Lon Milo Duquette's fascinating books. This uh, is probably the first book that I that I read on the tarot. It's a uh, it's a book on uh, the tarot of Alistair Crowley, the Thoth tarot, and it, uh, it it it's a fantastic introduction to Kabbalah um, altogether. Uh, he goes into great detail, uh, an amount of detail that that uh, that he really didn't need to go into, and yet. Thanks to the detail that he went into, uh, I, I I got completely hooked on on the uh, the ideas of Kabbalah and and it's such a an e- it was such an easy way in for me. So so I'm 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 incredibly grateful to to Lon Milo Duquette for that. And then when I read Low Magic, uh, I became aware of this tarot of ceremonial magic and so when i found out that magicalomaha.com were doing a uh, a new printing of this deck i had to get my hands on <laughs> on a on a copy um so that arrived today and i'm i'm so excited to show you uh, <laughs> uh i'll show it to you in a, in a moment first of all just uh, two two more books so homemade magic in which uh, Lon Milo Duquette actually describes the process of creating the cards themselves. Um, he uh, he describes how he um, how he designed the cards and how his wife Constance coloured the cards uh, in um, uh, a, a, according to absolutely accurate magical charts. Um, uh, and then he he tells you what what the charts exactly are and so on and so forth. Um, very very interesting process. But what was really really interesting for me was reading in Low Magic about the uh, the oath that he swore uh, as he was preparing to charge these cards and every card that would be uh, made in its in their image later on. Here it goes. I adeo sat bene, zeliata, and ninth degree uh, of the OTO, that is, uh, swear to the supreme what it is of the universe that I will charge this deck of tarot cards and every other deck of this design that currently exists or that will exist in the future with a force of every spiritual entity in the universe that I am capable of conjuring and binding into it. May their presence in the cards serve to contribute only to the enlightenment and spiritual health and well-being of all with whom it comes in contact, so mote it be. I think that's so nice, such a such a lovely intention, and it comes through in the cards so well. This is visibly a card uh, card deck for I, I don't know which to say, learning or teaching. Uh, <laughs> uh, as as a learner, it's uh, it's it's an invaluable. Clearly, from from what I've seen today, it's an invaluable um, uh, uh, tool. And and as a teacher, I can't I can't imagine uh, having a, a a better tool for teaching. I expect expect to do a lot more learning than teaching with this deck. Um, uh, as you can see in in um, in low magic, he goes into quite a lot of detail uh, to explain exactly how this deck works, what is represented on each card, um, uh, because on each card there is quite a lot of information. Now, you might be wondering what this little penny is over here, and I'll tell you in a moment. Closer to the end of the video, I guess. And you get this uh, this little box open. As you can see, it's a, it's a two-part box, which is a great luxury, in fact. Uh, there's the little white book, uh, which is, again, it packs so much teaching <laughs> in such a such a small space. I guess it's about forty pages. There you go, and uh, and the, it it teaches so so much just within those few pages. Then there's one introductory card with uh, 
with a just a little word by by uh, Lon and um, Constance Duquette describing um, yeah what what it is we're looking at here, and then we have the cards themselves now. I have to warn you, if you don't know this deck already, Lon is not a an artist. Uh, his artistic skill is incredible for someone who is not an artist. Uh, but nevertheless, his uh, you know he 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 hasn't been to um, to art school. Um, he hasn't been to uh, uh, he hasn't spent the majority of his life making art. Although I would I would suggest that you know his his line art is certainly uh, uh, fine, uh, but but what these are uh, really are a repository of everything that uh, each of these cards is supposed to encompass uh, f from the point of view of ceremonial magic, and that is mainly. Um, Enochian and Kabbalah and uh, and Goetic uh, uh, spirits. Uh, it's it's uh, it's quite clearly heavily inspired by the Toth the Thoth uh, deck, um, but um, but there's there's so much information on on every card. There's nothing that's there per chance. Okay, everything is there for a reason. Uh, the uh, the uh, oh, there is another aspect which is uh, the zodiac. Okay, so so depending on the type of the card, I'm just showing you the 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 the, the trumps here. Um, let me just uh, get through to twenty one. Here we go. Okay, and then we have the aces, and the aces each have. The Enochian elemental ta uh, table, um, and they have. Uh, I think this is is this Tatwa, um, and then it also has s s uh, the elemental symbol, um, and each individual card has got um, uh, each numbered card that is. Has got a, a, a goetic uh, spirit uh, and a um, uh, an angel of the Shem Um It's it's its name. Uh, I think it from what I've seen, it seems to follow the names given in the Thoth Tarot, uh, but also the um, the, uh, the 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 zodiac. Um, um, uh, Position. There we go. Yeah, some some of the art, as I say, you know, is it's visibly from someone who is uh, naturally talented, but uh, but not uh, not well practiced, maybe. Um, I'm sorry, Lon. I, I know you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I, I hope I'm not being too, uh, too, too, too rude with your um, with with your artistic skills. Uh, I, I I think that they are they are fantastic, and uh, uh, I'm I'm trying to call a cat a cat here. Um, so really, yes, to to um, just to to drive the uh, the point home here. Um, the the this is not a this is not a, a, de a deck for uh, for art collectors, right? I, I've got a few decks which are purely for artistic uh, gratification. Uh, these are for learning. These are for um, yeah, yeah get, getting to the to the essence of what uh, tarot is. In fact. Uh, I believe on on this on this introductory card it says the tarot is the DNA of the Kabbalah. Properly decoded, it reveals not only the mysteries of the Kabbalah, but also those of astrology, ceremonial magic, 
and all other Kabbalah-based systems. It's not her intention to lure you away from any tarot deck you may currently fancy, but to help you understand the incalculable power and significance of whatever deck you may be using. So it really is a deck to teach you what your favorite deck, whatever it may be, um, is, uh, is, really is under the hood. Right, so this is, uh, you could say that it's exposing the parts uh, so that you can get a better appreciation of any tarot deck. I think that's, that's such a, such a noble, <laughs> such a, such a lovely, wonderful um, uh, aim. Uh, and, uh, and, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just great. Look, look at this, look at this two of cups. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't really matter that uh, that that it's that the art is um, is uh, n not the high of the highest professionalism. It's it's very clear what it is, and it's it's just very very cute. Um, oh, let me show you the card of death. It, it made me laugh so much. Yeah, here it is. All right. Death with it with his lawnmower. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it made me laugh. Pretty happy death. Looks quite content with his with his job there. <laughs> that was very cool. All right. Um in terms of the quality of the cards, oh look look at the look at the reverse. Look how cool that is, the the the, the Enochian table of practice. Um, I guess this is uh, the, is it Agla? Uh, that's that's on the back of the um, of the Sigillum de a Meth. Really, really nice, nice idea to have on the on, on the back. I think it's really lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, let me let me tell you about this little coin. This little coin came in the in the card that uh, that that was attached to the deck. Uh, the magical Omaha hand wrote this this little note to me, uh, and uh, and as you can see, there's some cello tape there, and under the cello tape was this little this little. Uh, this little coin, I guess you could call it a little talisman, stand strong. Isn't that cute? Isn't that just the loveliest thing? I mean, you know, talk about um, customer experience, you know. Um, uh, I, I really feel like little gestures like this make a world of difference, you know. Uh, when, when you think that uh, some other companies you know, you, you have you have difficulties, and then you write to them, and they won't even bother to to answer. In fact, um, I had a I had a situation where I hadn't paid for um, for shipping, and and I wrote uh, to say oh, I I I I've been waiting quite a long time for these cards to arrive. Uh, any idea? And they said, well, we tried we tried to uh, to contact you, and it was absolutely true. Um, uh, they they had tried to contact me, and uh, it's just that I hadn't received the notification, um, and uh, and they were they were just so so cool about it, and they responded immediately, absolutely immediately, and um, and you know I little things like that just make such a difference, um, and uh, I, I I just want to carry this thing with me all everywhere I go. It's just so, so cool. <laughs> it's got a nice little weight to it. It does feel like it's like it's uh, like it's metal. I, I don't know what metal it is. Um, it, it might just be stainless steel. Um, but it's uh, it, it feels it feels lovely. It feels really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put put it in my pocket because <laughs> I love it. It's really, really cool. Um, so so well done, Magical Omaha, and well done, Lon Milo Duquette, um, on uh, on another successful uh, release of this of this deck, which which was released for the first time many decades ago, uh, and has been 
out of print and uh, an incredibly expensive uh, and um, and yeah it's it's really really nice to see it back in print and there's a book that goes with it which I haven't bought yet um, I, uh, I I wanted to uh, to to receive the deck first uh, as as you know I've had other things to buy uh, recently and uh, but I will be getting the book very soon and I'll be reading it and uh, I'll probably do a a further a further video uh, telling you my thoughts on on the book and um, uh, any further experiences that I've had that I've had with this deck. I'm very very pleased altogether. I'm 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 delighted. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. Uh, so guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did like the video, and um, uh, I'll I'll link the. Um, uh, the, the the page where you can get this if you're interested uh, in uh, in the details and also the book that goes with it uh, as well as these these other three books so that you can easily find them. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching and see you very soon. Bye bye.